What's up guys and gals, welcome back to The Escapist, where in this episode, we need to find ourselves so... In the previous episode, we got some of the things together we need to escape from. I've been doing some reconnaissance, you may have noticed that the days have changed a little bit. That's fine, I've just been kind of running all the boring stuff that nobody wants to see. I'm accumulating objects, and so I've got everything kind of locked down to needing duct tape and lumber. So we need like three duct tape and we need three lumber, and then we should be ready to escape. And so Mike and Marshall are getting shook down. No duct tape, no lumber, you're useless to me. Okay, you're slightly useful to me. You're slightly useful to me. And so we've got a couple of duct tapes right there. And the reason that we need these, let's go back to the cell and we'll talk about it. The reason we need these is because I've decided we're going to walk straight out of the front door. We already have the two keys that you need to walk out of the front door, namely the entrance key and the staff key. The white key, I have no idea who has the white key, I can't seem to find it. The white key actually opens the absolute front door. I think the warden may be the only person that has that key and it might be worthwhile to see if we can maybe get that by taking, making some putty and then maybe jumping the warden while he's in here. If he has the white key, then that would work out perfectly fine too. I don't really care which way we walk on out of here, we can either dig out or we can walk out. If we see the warden, I may try and jump him just to see what happens, but for now we've got a flimsy shovel. We need the flimsy shovel to become a much better shovel. So let's go ahead and do that for right now. I'm not going to go to breakfast. It'll raise my heat a little bit, but I don't think we're going to be escaping today anyways. Let's go ahead and we need the flimsy shovel right here. And I want this to be a sturdy shovel before we leave, just in case. So let's drop our chocolate here. There we go. Dropped our chocolate, and I need this piece of sheet metal. We're going to have to sneak some sheet metal out too, I think. Yeah, we're going to have to sneak some sheet metal out while we work today. So let's go ahead and we'll just upgrade this once right now. Got the lightweight shovel, we've got duct tapes, we've got all the things that we're going to need. The flimsy pickaxe, in order to get through a stone, I think we need to upgrade that to a lightweight at the bare minimum. So that's going to be the other piece of equipment that we're going to need. And the problem right now is inventory space. With the guard outfit, we should be fine. Yeah, let's see if we can find the things that we need in order to make putty. And if we can find the things that we need, we got a bunch of heat right there from being in the wrong place. It's not a big deal. We need to find some talcum powder. If we find talcum powder, we can go ahead and we can make ourselves... Oh, I need to sneak out sheet metal. Let's make ourselves a... Damn. Damn, 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 damn. Let's make ourselves a contraband pouch because I need another sheet metal and I don't want to buy it. Okay, so we'll go like that. We'll make a contraband pouch. Let's go to work. That'll earn us a little bit of extra money. If the warden comes in today, I am going to take a swing at him just to see what happens. I'm going to my job. Jesus. Alright. So let's stamp this out real fast. Our heat's pretty high right now, so we may want to wait another day or so before we break out anyways, just to make sure we don't trigger a lockdown or anything. If you attack a guard, or if you attack the warden, there might be a lockdown. That's slightly worrying me. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. And the five is going to be the sheet metal that we're bringing back with us to upgrade the shovel one more time, in case you're wondering. Okay, that's done. Let's go ahead and walk on out of here. We've got the one extra sheet metal that we need in order to make our sturdy shovel ready to roll. We're going to keep an eye on everybody that's selling things because we need to get three timber right now. Two for a brace and one to upgrade our pickaxe. And so once we get that done, we should be able to get the hell out of here based on just my own calculations possibly. Because in the last patch, they nerfed it so that you need a timber brace to like dig upwards, I guess. I read that on the forums or something, so... Just worst case scenario, I'm bringing a timber brace along with me, just in case something cray cray happens. We got the duct tape up here, let's go ahead and put that down. Duct tape and our lightweight shovel, okay, so we'll turn that into a, I don't even need to do this right now, I could have used the busted one down here. No, that's a sturdy shovel, never mind, I thought that was a lightweight shovel over there, it's not a lightweight shovel, that wouldn't have worked. I'm not as dumb as I thought I was for a second, alright, so we've got a sturdy shovel. That's ready to go. And I actually, I'm going to reorganize everything over here so that I have just the things I need to escape with in front of that vent. And so, is that, wait, which shovel is that? Okay, that's the busted shovel. We don't need that one. The shovel that we do need, or the pickaxe, we'll put this over here. Take that off. We'll go to roll call real fast. If we get shook down at any point during this whole thing, it's going to kind of suck. But what can you do about it? Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. The following scum are due a cell toss. Clark and Marshall. Not my problem once again. So now what we want to look for is wood. That's all that we care about. Is getting our hands on another man's wood. We'll pay him for it even. We will be totally fine with paying for another man's wood. We just need another man's wood. That's all that there is to this whole thing. 
We have the money to get it done, so not a big deal there. Our heat is coming down. We've got a little bit of free time in front of us before anything else goes wrong. I'm going to pick these two up, and we're just going to put them over here. We've got those. So these four right here in the guard outfit, that's five. So that's the five things that we need. And then we need the timber brace, and so that's going to be our six. Alright. Previously, you could burrow out of this place without a timber brace, but now you need a timber brace in order to go upwards, I guess. So, I don't know. I'm bringing it just in case. I'm not sure that's what's going to happen, but I think it's probably a decent idea to bring one. Just in case it does work the way that I think it's going to work. We're going to spend a little bit of time getting our intellect up right here, and we're going to keep an eye out for the warden or anybody that's selling talcum powder. And just in case he has the white key, I mean, he's able to open that front door, so maybe jumping the warden's a decent idea. Only got 5% heat right now, so if we can take him out, it would definitely benefit us. Okay, so we got that right there. The other thing that might be worth mentioning is if we have those other two keys on our person, we might be able to just jump the ward and walk out the front door. I mean, that's the other thing that maybe we hadn't thought about is that... Assuming that we have putty, let's go take that talcum powder. We're going to find ourselves some toothpaste real fast. We'll make some putty just in case we see the warden around. Okay, so we got the water putty. Let's keep an eye out for the warden because he can open the front door. And so, I'm not talking about this front door. I'm talking about this front door. So if the warden comes through, I mean, things to think about. We could also cut our way through that fence, couldn't we? Or is that a different type of fence that takes longer to cut? It's dinner time. Let's go to dinner time because we do have a lot of fatigue right now. So we'll chill for a little bit. We'll talk to all of our prison compatriots. Ah, he's got wood. So we'll take that wood right there. That one's going to be for upgrading our pickaxe. And then if we can get two more, we'll have that timber brace and then we will be the hell on out of here. The reason that we need the upgraded pickaxe is just in case there's a rock underneath the wall. I haven't tested that a flimsy pickaxe will be able to chop through a rock. I could have done it, but it would have used up the pickaxe that we had already. And so instead of doing that, I'd rather just be safe rather than sorry. And just guarantee that we can get through the areas that we need to get through. What do you got? You got chocolate. Sigh. Alright, we're still not out of here. We're still not out of here. I think I'll probably go with a workout right here. I mean, we may stay for another day. I'm interested in testing that idea with the war, and maybe we can walk out the front door without anything bad happening in a guard outfit. I mean, that really is kind of the most... I think that's the most finesse-laden of all the strategies that I've seen so far. If it comes up, we'll try it. I mean, I can't guarantee that the, guard, the warden is going to have the white key, but he might. If he has the white key, we might as well give it a go. And the possibility is that maybe we get ourselves a lockdown, in which case... Beating up the warden might not be a good idea. Alright, so we're good right there. I don't know if any of these guys got new stock, so we'll check them real fast. Because we are on the lookout for wood. Nothing there. So let's jump back in the shower. And we're not going to take any quests, because honestly we don't need the money. We just need to get things done here. I mean, we're, fine. we're in this last stretch of the journey. We're so close right now. And I really do think that we can make it. It's just one thing after another, in all honesty, so. Two more timber. Two more timber and we're out of here. I keep, like, reinforcing myself because I know people want this series to be done so we can start something else. But, unfortunately, the cards are just not falling where I want them to with regards to our timber acquisition. Yeah, so see, it just cycled all the people that were selling stuff and, unfortunately, there's nothing here. We're going to get our evening free time right now. And during that evening free time, I think it would probably be in our best interest to wait and see if the warden comes in. We can jump him out here without any problems. I guess we could start beating people up and seeing if they're carrying timber around with them in their inventory, but I don't want to start too much trouble before we get the hell on out of here. I prefer to keep my heat low. Let's jump up in the vents and we'll handle this upgrade before we go any further. So we'll take the flimsy pickaxe and we're just going to go with... We need duct tape for this to work, right? Where did the other duct tape go? Wait, I bought two duct tapes, right? What did I do with it? Urgh, I bought two duct tapes and I used them both to upgrade. 
Hmm, I used both duct tapes to upgrade the pickaxe. I'm sorry, to upgrade the shovel, didn't I? Because we had flimsy, I didn't think about that. Okay, so we need an extra one. Alright, we'll dump you. You haven't been a good girlfriend to us. Our pickaxe is female. It's, it just is, don't question it. Actually, I'm going to get back up in here. We'll drop that right there for right now. We'll keep the putty with us, just in case we run across anybody that we want to roll. And then we'll get on out of here. For the remainder of our evening, I'm kind of thinking about how I want to spend this. The warden didn't come in today, and we didn't get the lumber that we needed. We also didn't get a third duct tape, which is the other part. We have all the stuff right now, so it shouldn't be too bad, but... I'm trying to limit our inventory. If you're wondering why I'm upgrading everything to max, it's because I'm trying to limit the inventory that we leave the building with because I'm thinking we're already going to be leaving with almost a maxed out inventory. So we're going to need space for dirt and things like that. So we may be able to leave our inmate outfit outside the cell when we go. That's the other thing to think about is that that's a distinct possibility. These are all things that I'm just not sure if they're going to they're going to work out for us, so more duct tape is needed. One duct tape and two timber. The final things on our list until we can leave here. Or if the warden shows up, we'll jump him and we'll take his white key and then we'll walk straight out the front door dressed like a guard and that'll be that. I mean, it could be either or. I'll take either plan. The one that takes less preparation or the one that takes more. And so here we are with the guards waiting for our final evening roll call, I hope. I hope we never have another one. And so cell checks are Clark and Gavin. Check everybody one last time before we get on out of here. They don't have anything that we want, and so let's just go to our cell and we're going to sleep till the next day. Don't need the bed dummy or anything just yet. Since we're not getting searched, I'm just going to lay down and we'll wait for roll call. God, I was really hoping we could get out of here today, but it's looking like it's not going to work for us, so whatever. We'll keep it where it is. Alright, lights out. Let's just sleep till morning. We have slept till morning. The sleep has been slept. And so now we engage in another day of trying to lock down a few of the things that we need. Not trying to be punny at all because we're in prison, but there are... Maybe the warden will visit today. Who even knows? If the warden visits today, that'll be great. Kick the crap out of him, take the white key, and then be on our way. Check for wood real fast. There's the duct tape that we needed, so that's one thing. And so two wood. Cell searches. Sang and Lee. Okay, not my problem. Everything here is looking pretty good for us. We'll be alright. Just need to make ourselves a brace now. And I know there'll probably be somebody down in the comments trying to tell me that I need a brace, but I have I've heard rumors that you can no longer dig under the wall with just a red key, a shovel, and a guard's outfit if you get lucky. I have heard rumors, whispers in the forest that you need a timber brace now no matter what you do, so we'll bring it along just in case. So we got the duct tape. Let's go ahead and upgrade this real fast. There it is. So we got the lightweight pickaxe. We'll dump that, put that back, and then go to breakfast so that we don't get ourselves into trouble. Check all the vendors, even though I think I got them all at the roll call. Vendors don't have anything for us. Go ahead and eat breakfast to get rid of that last fatigue, because that's a hangover from the previous day. And we're almost there. We are in the home stretch, everybody. We should be out of here by day 36 or 37, at the bare minimum. I mean, it kind of depends if the warden comes in. We can be out of here in like five minutes if the warden comes in. Not even going to be a problem. But, if the warden doesn't come in, we're probably going to have to have to go ahead and burrow on out of here. I don't even know if the white key exists. I've never seen anybody talk about the white key anywhere, so... I have been frequenting forums and things. Oh, there's the warden. So what happens if we beat up the warden? I can't guarantee that I can get him. No, you can't attack the warden. That right, it wouldn't let me attack the warden right there. I'm clicking on him, it's not allowing it to happen, so I'm guessing the warden can't be attacked. I clicked on him about 50 times. So, I guess that's that. I know, go to work. 
All right, well, Operation Wood Quest is about the only thing we have remaining then, because it wouldn't let me attack the warden. I just tried. I mean... I have nunchucks. I was willing to beat him to death. I mean, I gave it the old college try. Hey. Stamp. You bastard. There we go. You giant metallic flat bastard. Don't really need any of the extra sheet metal, so why bother? We'll just leave here. And if I see the warden, I might give him another go, just to see maybe. Yeah, it won't let me attack the warden for nothing. Huh. Ain't that weird. Ain't that a thing. Alright, well, since we can't jump the warden, that leaves us with a little bit of time on our hands. I could just walk out the front door, but by the time we get dug out of here, we still need the wood, too, so, eh. I don't even think we need to escape at night. I think I could walk out in broad daylight if I have an officer's uniform. I have to walk through here with one key, go through the red, and then just be out of here. Not have to worry about it any longer. What you got? Chocolate, chocolate, nothing. I mean, you got candy, but you ain't got nothing for me. Is that the same guy? Okay, Raphael's the same guy we talked to. There's not a whole lot to work on right now, so unfortunately, sort of left in this terrible state where we're staring at vendor screens hoping that the thing that we want comes up. I could try and take the wood shop job just to guarantee that we can get the wood that we need. But once again, I don't think... Let's go to midday roll call. Who has the job? Just out of curiosity. Marshall has the wood shop job. Okay. Well, if we can get some rope, we can beat him up and tie him up before his shift tomorrow, and then we can take his job and we can guarantee that we get the wood that we need. Because we are craving it at the moment, so... The only way to get rid of that craving is to find some. The shakedown winners of the day. Xavier and William. Raphael. We already did Raphael and Ross. I don't think they're going to have anything new for us in between here and there. But he said, wipe that face off your feces for a second. I was like, wow, that is a typo right there. Like somebody's hanging out just making poo art. You get that bored in prison where you're sitting there just working on it. <laughs> Look, it's smiling. I made my own personal Mr. Hanky. Hooray, afternoon free period, so how do we want to deal with this? I could try and get the green key and we could just go in there anyways. I don't know who has the green key. Let's go ahead and we'll, we'll stake out the door just in case. And we'll see who has the green key because we already have the putty made for the warden's key. And so we might as well. So give it a good check out. We'll just hang out by here. And whoever goes in here. Oh, we got him. Okay, so it's Officer Shelby. All right, let's keep an eye out for Officer Shelby. We'll try and take a key from him, even though it's kind of a bad idea. Let's go get the putty. We'll make the imprint, and we'll burn some more plastic, and that'll allow us to get into the green rooms. So we won't even need to take the job then. Grab the putty, and if Officer Shelby comes around, we'll go ahead and lay him on out. Or lay him on down, whichever. Officer Shelby, please expose yourself very, very shortly. He's going to check the camera. Okay. So we jump Officer Shelby right here. So we got Officer Shelby. There's the... He's got an entrance key, but he just went into the green room, didn't he? Oh, shit. So that's the purple key. We definitely don't need another purple key. Damn. Okay, so let's go back. I'm gonna dump the putty one more time. I'm just gonna stare at the door again during free period, even though there's no point. That puts Officer Shelby on our shit list for right now. He's going to jump us. Over the course of the next couple days, Officer Shelby is going to be having none of our BS. So we got to watch out for him. It's dinner time. I could stake this out and just see who goes in there. Let's just go to dinner for now. We'll do it during the evening free period. I find it unlikely. Checking all the guards' names to make sure that we don't get jumped. when we. Ah, there's Officer Shelby. He's going to try and jump us. Yep. So we don't really have a choice right here. This is why I hate fighting with guards. Is he still going to try and jump me again? No, he's good. Okay. Our heat's pretty high just because I accidentally stepped on the counter right there. We need to find that green key, though. So I think at the end of dinner, we're going to go stake out the green key. That's all we have to do in between the vendors having the different things that they have. So we... Oh, exercise period. Do we want to go... Let's go with speed today. So we'll get that on up. There we go. And so we'll just hang out here for a minute. I'll check all the vendors once we're in the shower. 
do our monetary transactions while we get in there. And then we'll see if we can find who has the green key as well during evening free period. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be much more like 20 points out of this. I started watching BoJack Horseman on Netflix. I don't know if anybody else has been watching that show. It's a little bit derivative of Family Guy because they do like that random cutaway stuff. But I, I still find it to be kind of humorous. I've watched like the first five episodes and I am hoping they make a season two. I don't think it's like one of those blow off shows that I watch one time and then I'm like meh. I think it definitely has potential. I mean I'm not a critic or anything. I'm not anybody that's got any real fundamental aptitude for judging other people's work but I'm just saying it seems like it could be a decent show if developed further. Let's check with all of the people here in the shower. Is it Micah or William who has the contraband? It's Micah. It's, oh, it's clicking on William, that's why. So let's get Micah. I don't think he had anything, and I definitely don't think Raphael had anything. So we'll just hang out for a little bit. We don't have a lot of vendors today, so unfortunately we've got a lot of episodes where we're not accomplishing anything. Me walking around in circles waiting for wood to show up, but since it's not showing up through the vendors... Yeah, I mean, they're selling useless crap right now, so... It did recycle everybody, so there's the possibility that Micah got new stock. He did, but nothing that we needed. Alright, evening free time. Let's be proactive then. Let's get the green key, since that's going to be our only option. Let's go over, and we'll figure out who has the green key over here. And once we figure that out, we can come and we can get as much wood as we need. I'll probably grab a full inventory full. And that seemed a little bit redundant, but I'll grab a full inventory. We'll leave with five wood. And we'll need a new contraband pouch too, so I'll probably have to track down some duct tape before that'll work for us the entire way, but... Officer Isaiah doesn't have the key. So while I realize this is boring, this is unfortunately some of the renaissance... Or the renaissance... The reconnaissance work that we have to do in order to make this work. So Officer Liam appears to have the key. So let's go ahead and find an isolated area that we can take out Officer Liam. Officer Liam appears to actually hit a lot of random areas. Does he only patrol in between these two areas? Ooh. Or does he ever go back into the main building? If he goes back into the main vestibule, we'll probably be okay. Okay, he's going back in, so let's go grab our putty, and then we'll find Officer Liam wherever he decides to go. Looks like he's going to the end of the tier, so this might work. Oh, wrong cell. Grab you. Yep, don't don't resist. Just come with me. Now, Officer Liam will more than likely be either over here somewhere or... Where is he? There's Shelby. There's Matt. There's Nick. Isaiah, Jaden, Liam. Okay, so here's our guy. Okay, so Liam's- he didn't have a green key? How is he getting through the doors? He's beating up another character right there. They're all gonna say, stop me. But they're not gonna be able to stop me. I'm just gonna run around in circles. So we beat up a bunch of guards now. Going back to this over here is gonna be a risk that I'm just gonna have to take. So we don't know who's getting a cell search right now. Oh my god. Alright. So the funsies of the evening. I'm just going to go to my cell. And I'm going to prepare as if we are going to get searched. They'll probably do a lockdown anyways. So let's get all the contraband up out of here. Alright, put the vent back in place. Put this down here, just so it's nice and safe. And I get the feeling we're probably going to get a lockdown. So, unfortunately, I think this is going to be the end of our episode. It's... I was hoping we would get something done today, but unfortunately, between the heat that we've been accruing and... The lack of lumber on the market, I think that, you know, we've had no luck here. We've been beating up guards left and right. Not a single guard has ended up having the green key that we need, so... We can hope, but if it doesn't come up, it doesn't come up. Both those officers went into that room, and neither one of them actually has the key. So, there you go. I'm going to break it off right here. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here for another episode of The Escapists. Hopefully, in the next, like, 
couple episodes will escape. We are, we have been two items away from escaping for the last couple episodes, and I just can't seem to get my hands on them, whether by through the black market or through beating up guards. I actually, I hate fighting with guards, and that's what we went with in this episode, and we're still not finding that green key anywhere, so nothing's working for us right now. I'll see y'all in the next episode. Hopefully we'll get on out of here. Take care, everybody, and I do.